హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు యోర్ క్లాస్ యోర్ ఫ్యూచర్ లెట్స్ డిస్కస్ నైన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ సోషల్ సైన్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ రివైజ్డ్ సిలబస్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ పొలిటికల్ సైన్స్ పార్ట్ చాప్టర్ ఫైవ్ అవర్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఫస్ట్ మెయిన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫిల్ ఇన్ ద బ్లాంక్స్ విత్ సూటేబుల్ వర్డ్స్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ద లా విచ్ గవర్న్స్ ద స్టేట్స్ ఈజ్ డాష్ ఆన్సర్ constitution second one the first meeting of constituent assembly was held on dash answer 9th december 1946 third question the chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution was dash answer dr b r ambedkar fourth question our constitution provides for a dash system of government answer parliamentary fifth question our constitution provides for dash citizenship to its citizens answer single question number 6 the right for constitutional remedies has been incorporated the article dash the right for constitutional remedies has been incorporated the article dash answer 32 article 32 question number 7 the directive principles of state policy are borrowed from dash constitution and answer is irish so these are the fill in the blanks next second main question answer the following questions first one who was the president of the constituent assembly and answer is dr rajendra prasad was the president of the constituent assembly question number 2 when did the constitution came into force answer on 26th january 1950 the constitution came into force third question what does the preamble to the constitution contain answer the preamble contains the fundamental policies and ideals of the constitution question number 4 what do you mean secularism answer secularism is the assertion that all religions are treated equally question number 5 explain the silent features of our constitution answer the silent features of our constitution are written and lengthy constitution flexible and rigid constitution parliamentary form of government republican system federal system fundamental rights fundamental duties directive principles of state policy independent and centralized judicial system single citizenship universal adult franchise bicameral legislature or central legislature 
party system so these are the silent features of our constitution next question question number 6 which are the fundamental rights incorporated in our constitution answer the fundamental rights are right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights right to constitutional remedies so these are the fundamental rights incorporated in our constitution next question make a list of the fundamental duties answer the fundamental duties are to respect the constitution national flag and national anthem to follow the noble ideals that inspired our national struggle for freedom to protect the integrity of india to defeat to de, sorry to defend the motherland when called upon to do so to promote the spirit of common brotherhood among all the people of india to preserve our rich heritage to protect and improve the natural environment to develop the scientific temper and the spirit of energy to safeguard public property and to give up violence to strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activities the parents or the guardians should provide an opportunity for education to their children between 6 and 14 years so these are the fundamental duties next question which are the directive principles of state policy answer the directive principles of state policy are to provide adequate means of livelihood to all citizens to prevent the community wealth and resources from becoming the private property of a few people to provide equal pay for equal work to both men and women and to protect labor welfare to provide public assistance to those who are old sick and weak or helpless to implement a uniform civil code throughout the country to provide opportunities for the development of health and preschool education to all children below 6 years to protect historical monuments and maintain places of historical interest to respect the executive from the judiciary sorry to separate the executive from the judiciary to protect international peace and to respect international law to encourage the settlement of international disputes through arbitration to establish gram panchayats 
to encourage rural and cotton cottage industries to organize and develop agriculture and animal husbandry on modern lines to ensure prohibition of liquor to ensure development of farming based on scientific methods so these are the question answers of our constitution thanks for watching this video till the end please like share this video and subscribe my channel your class your future to watch my upcoming videos based on revised syllabus 2024 thank you